For 11 days, you housed a felon that was on the run in your house, the father of one of your children. What do you think about that decision? I love that decision. Um, he was already in jail for five years. He missed the birth of our son. Having him in my house, it allowed us him to be there on the first day of school for the very first time. So you don't so, see a problem with, um, with I that. mean, I would not let the police in my house anyways. It's, I mean, it's just, it's my space. I'm just not that open to it. But those were minutes that I was cherishing in time with him that nobody can replace. Mm -hmm. And I would have never got otherwise. And I mean, if that makes me a criminal, then fine. I mean. You don't see an issue there if, if he'd been discovered there? It wasn't there my job the... to tell them where he was. It was their right. job to figure it out. I mean. And had they done that and shown up there and. It would have altered things. He was not wanting to go be locked behind bars again. And he had a knife in the house at that time. And had I let them in the house, like you came and tried to unlock the door, I potentially, I mean, he could have killed himself in our home and then I have to live there. So there's things that you don't know based on what your perception is that sometimes I just know what's best to do. Yeah, I think it would be really good to stop talking sorry. right now. You're making this worse, not I'm better. Sorry. That's really poor judgment on behalf of the children. My children, he would never hurt me or my children. You just don't want to be involved in harboring a known felon. I don't want to be involved in not loving him. Look, here's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. At this point, uh, I believe that Adderall has become very toxic for you and very toxic mm -hmm. for your brain. Mm -hmm. And the pivotal question mm -hmm. that I'm going to ask you is, are you willing to submit yourself to the detoxification and the treatment necessary to find out if, in fact, you are distorting reality, not on purpose, mm -hmm. but because your brain is, is right. being tampered with, right. to give yourself the best shot you have of getting your children back. Or you can say, I'm gonna to continue to live in this fantasy world and be the victim, or- I've never been a victim and I'm not in a fantasy world. I know the result, I mean, I know reality enough to know that she also needs to butt out and her opinions aren't even from an educated perspective. Did you notice everything yes, I, I mean, just said I am didn't okay. involve her at all? Yes. And by but the way, she being... couldn't give you these children back right now if she wanted to because she doesn't have the right to make order that decision. On me. Look at her over there smirking, but getting a restraining order over on me makes it so I can't even call them. A mother doing that to another mother about children, I, I'm, so, I'm so with you, I agree, I'm there. But I need her to know that a restraining order to keep me away from my children will never make me well. It wasn't to keep you away from Whatever. your children, nope. it was to keep you away from me who had my children. Like that would even be you necessary. I've that. never been aggressive at okay. you. And heck yeah, I get loud because you keep doing this. She needs to know that, she, okay. That's a I'm deflection. Here. Okay, I'm That's here. a deflection. I'm Talk here. to me.